Good good afternoon, Ms. Mfenyana. Good afternoon, ICJ. How are you this afternoon? I'm very well, ICJ. Thank you. How are you? No, we are all right. Thank you. I, I answer on behalf of everybody. We are all right. Uh, welcome to this session of the interviews of the Commission. Thank you for availing yourself to be considered for appointment as a judge of the Eastern Cape Division of the High Court. I see that uh, you hold the degrees uh, EURIS, L LLB, and LLM. And then in addition to that, you have uh, a certificate of legal aspects of e-commerce certificate what, of energy law, in energy law, certificate in air, space, and telecommunications law. Is that correct? That is correct, ACJ. And uh, you got the BURS from the University of Devon Westville, uh, which is now UKZN. Indeed. Is that right? Yes, yes. And exactly. then you got your LLB from the University of Pretoria. No, ACJ, the BURIS and the LLB are both from the University of Devon Westville. Oh, okay. And then it was the LLM that you got from the University of Pretoria. That's correct, ACJ. And then the certificates you got from, one of them you got from UNISA and the other one from the University of Wetterstrand, is that right? That is correct, uh, ACJ. Yes. I like this, uh, the diversity uh, in the certificates that you, you, you acquired. It's an unusual diversity and it's quite an important one. Uh, when you chose to do those certificates, did you have a particular objective in mind? How did it come about? A certificate in energy law, a certificate in telecommunications law, a certificate in air, or certificate in air, space and telecommunications law, and a certificate in energy law, certificate in legal aspects of e-commerce. How, how did you decide upon those certificates? That that's what you wanted to do, that diversity of programs. Well, the reason for each of them was, is different, but the commonality is my curiosity. If I am dealing with a matter um, that involves energy law, naturally what I, what I want to do is to get more in-depth information on that aspect. And I find myself you know, studying um, uh, on that aspect. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the other reason is to support my clients. You mm -hmm. get a, a, an instruction in energy law um, or aviation law, for example, mm -hmm. and you're very limited because as a, as a lawyer, you cannot confine yourself to, to a specific thing. I mean, litigation is in pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. And um, you... <coughs> you, you, you prejudice not only your client but yourself as well because you you limited in the offering that you can give to to your client mm -hmm. so that was uh, uh, those were the reasons uh, pretty much mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, you were admitted as an attorney in 1998 is that right that's the, that is correct uh, acj yes and you worked uh, in the human rights commission as a legal officer and later you worked uh, as a research fellow at uh, CSVR. What is CSVR? It's the Center for Study of Violence and Reconciliation. Yes, okay. And uh, uh, do you practice as a attorney at the moment? Indeed, I am uh, practicing as an attorney, ACJ. Yes. So how long have you practiced as an attorney? I have practiced for about 14 years. Yes. Um, on my own, it has been uh, 12 years. Yes. Um, since I started, but that that that, that excludes um, 
my other work apart from practicing as an attorney. So practice, it's been 14 years. Yes. And I see that you appear in various, you say you appear in various courts with regard to a variety of civil litigation matters. Yes, ACJ, when you are uh, the magic in your, in, your, in your office, when you're a sole proprietor, you appear in each and every court you do where everything. there is a matter <laughs> yes, to be attended to. Yes. Uh, I see that uh, you mentioned mag magistrates' courts that you appear in. You mention uh, in and around Pretoria, Randberg, Johannesburg, Rodeport, Boxberg, Kempton Park. And you say you appear also in the high courts in Pretoria and Johannesburg, as well as in the labor court in Johannesburg. Is that right? Yes, I have. You have? Yes, ACJ. Yes. And you say sometimes you appear alone in those courts and do matters without counsel. Sometimes you brief counsel. Indeed. Is that right? Yes, ACJ. Uh, so that means that, uh, does that mean that you have actually argued cases, some cases on your own in the high court, in the high courts and in the labor court, quite apart from magistrate's court? Particularly in the high court, um, the labor court not so much because um, my practice is not predominantly a, a, a labor practice. Yes. So uh, it would be one or two in, yes. in, in, in the labor court, but in the, in the high court it would be more than that even though um, I haven't appeared in the high court enough yes. um, uh, with the practice to attend to as well. Mm. Um, but I have appeared in the High Court with or without counsel. Well, uh, I, I, I very much like the idea that you you appear in the High Court as an attorney on your own sometimes, and uh, you do matters uh, yourself. You argue them before judges. You argue them. It would uh, follow against advocates, and uh, you you're not intimidated by anybody. Is that right? No. Not necessarily, ACJ. I mean, what, what is more intimidating is the matter itself. Yes. Uh, otherwise, you, 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 when you deal with people, you deal with people. You just take it in your stride. But the key is the preparation. Yes. And uh, you either successful or not successful in the matter. And that's that. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. And uh, have you also argued appeals, whether criminal or civil, in the High Court? No, I have not. not. I have not. But you have done trials. I've done trials. I've motion appeared court in motion well. court. Yeah, yes. That's where I've appeared the most. Yes. Um, I see that you say uh, your practice doesn't have a criminal work, you say zero criminal work, but you say it's got 30% administrative law, is that right? That, that, that would be correct, that's yeah, and, uh, more or less that. And 20% labor law? Yeah, more or less, that, that would yeah. be correct. And you say 50% uh, of your litigation work relates to property disputes forensic investigations, matrimonial agreements, divorces, commercial and corporate law, opinions and debt collections. Is that correct? That's correct, ACJ. Yes. And uh, you set out in paragraph 6.3 some of the cases that you regard as quite important that we have done. Mm -hmm. Now, have you had a chance to act in the High Court? Yes, I have, ACJ. Yes, for how long have you acted? Um, I've counted a total of 34 weeks. Yes, and how did you find it? I found it to be a lot of work. Hmm. Um, but I think the key thing is that it is worthwhile. Yes. Um, it is 
the time where I learned the most in my entire practice. Yes. Okay. And uh, when you were acting as a judge in the High Court, seeing that you said you are a sole practitioner, uh, did you get somebody or some attorney to look after your practice, or you do have you did have an attorney within the law firm who, whom you had employed who was working in the firm anyway? I do have people that I work with, and um, I think from a, a a managerial point of view, I do have a practice manager. Yeah who is somebody that I had been working for, I think for a period of about eight years. Yes. So uh, who is also legally qualified, although not a practicing attorney. So that sort of made things a little easier for, 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 for me. And uh, she would uh, um, oversee things, but then the attorney would uh, yeah. Their responsibility for, 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 for the technical uh, issues of the firm. So, uh, have you actually been in practice for about 20 years, 22 years, How long, from the date of your admission? Not, not practice, uh, but the legal experience but practice i've been in practice for about 14 years 14, but yeah. i have been yes i've been like uh, employed uh, yeah the, okay for, for about 22 years okay no that's fine judge president thank you acj good afternoon uh, Ms. Mpanyana. good afternoon jp we, we have not met in a long time in a long time yes jp yes that's good to see you again same year um, you were actually recommended for an acting stint by an advocate practicing in Jovak. And I told you as much. Yes, you did. My philosophy being that uh, you become a bit suspicious when people approach you applying for themselves to become acting judges in your division. I'm not in the least suggesting that when I receive these requests, I am stubbornly of the view that you can't appoint somebody who has approached you. But in your case, somebody else that you apparently had been briefing saw it fit to point a finger at you, reposing his trust in you. I thought I should mention that. I appreciate that, JP. <clears throat> and um, at page 22 of uh, the document had a list of judgments by Eastern Cape candidates, JSC, October 2021. Is that a document? Not, not quite. Is it any one? This one? Page. Yes, at pages 22 oh, yeah. to 25, yes, sure. the document embodies what you produced. I must say, you acted for quite a long time in my division, and that is borne out also by what we see here. Your pen did not run dry. You produced quite a number of judgments. I remember that we sat together in Center for Child Law um, versus Minister of Basic Education, um, a judgment that has subsequently been reported. Are you aware of that? I, I am aware of it, uh, JP, but when I was uh, completing the questionnaire, it sort of slipped my mind and I did not indicate it. Yes, I thought I should mention in your favor that uh, that you sat with me and uh, that team produced a judgment that ended up being reported dealing with uh, profound constitutional issues. Mm -hmm. What is uh, your take on case flow management? 
in particular, maybe let me put it like this. In your view, is it possible to implement case flow management in the context of opposed motions? It should be. How would you do that? I, 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 I'm, I'm really thinking on my feet here, JP. But just like with civil matters in which um, case law management is currently used, yes. um, opposed motions you know, run a course before the matter is actually heard. And it is not all the time that a, 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 a matter, an opposed matter, would run from end to finish without any, any, any hurdles. And uh, the tool of case flow management is, is instrumental in, 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 in that respect. So I do think that, I mean, as an administrative tool, it would assist you know, practitioners and particularly judges and, and, and the court ultimately to, um, to, 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 to always perhaps have a bird's eye view of, of the matter and to direct uh, the, 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 the litigation or the course of that particular matter. So I do think that it, 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 it shouldn't be any different from, from, from uh, uh, trial matters. Yes. Um, it's just a matter of time. Yes. You may not have read a judgment that I penned, which has been reported mm -hmm. in uh, a matter of Popojana. You probably have not read that as yet. I, I, I haven't read it. I with, saw, yeah, I yeah. saw that, that matter, yes. Uh, probably browsed through it, but I, I, I didn't read it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It drives the point home that case flow management is applicable in motion proceedings. And Should it be. demonstrates that uh, as soon as we implemented that in Grahamstown, there was an improvement on the finalization rate of opposed motions. I just thought I should mention that you may not have read the No, judgment. I have not. Thank you. There are 16 opposed application judgments that you, you penned according to the grid. I, I counted as much as well. Yes, and then you featured in civil trials as well. I see you penned 15 judgments. Oh, I, I, I didn't count the judgments yes. then, but I, I will take your word for it, JP. Thank you. Anyway, it's at page 25, at the bottom of page 25. The summary is set out there. There are 11 applications for leave to appeal against uh, your judgments. Do you know what eventually became of those applications? Um, JP, do you want me to go through well, them let one me, by let, one? Well, let me take you to page 25. From page 24? Yeah, have a look at, at page 25. You will see there's a summary of your output. Mm -hmm. Page 25. Yes, JP. Yes, you see it lists judgments that you penned. Uh -huh. In fact, it's a summary of what is contained yes. in the grid itself. Yes. And then uh, it mentions that there are 11 applications for leave to appeal against uh, your judgments. I take it that 11 of the judgments that you penned. So my question is, have you got an idea of what became of those applications? At a, at a, like a, at a, at a, at a rough idea, I do know, I have become aware of two matters that uh, were taken up to the SCA that um, were dismissed, and that would be Basson versus Basson, and the matter of Makana uh, Youth League versus uh, Makana Municipality. Um, I do know of another one, the matter of lottering versus MEC for Health Eastern Cape. In that matter, I was overturned. Um, there would be the matter of Z-Day. I think it's, it's, it's a criminal matter. Uh, oh, no, no. 
there was no, um, I don't see it here on, on, on leave to appeal, but then that matter was indeed appealed and, and uh, it was dismissed. The appeal was, was, was dismissed. With regards to the rest, I have no idea what, yes. what, what, what has happened to the matters, JP. Yes, I may have pounced on you on this, but uh, also sitting where you are this afternoon, yes. you can't be in a position to say so many of these applications, to, I mean, for leave to appeal were refused, and then petitions were pursued, and then uh, uh, the SCA either granted leave or did not grant leave. You, you, you have not engaged in that exercise. Not to interrupt you, JP, I am aware in the Basson matter that there was a petition brought and that was also turned down. Yes. That is about the only matter that I am aware of. Yes, of the 11 matters, you, of the you, 11. you can't account for all of them. For all of them, no, I cannot, yes. JP. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, ACJ. Thank you, Judge President. Uh, MEC Garde, if you have uh, questions for the candidates, you may go ahead and ask your questions. No, thanks. Uh, no, thanks, CJ. I don't have a question uh, for the candidate yet. Thank you, uh, Commissioners. Uh, commissioners on the virtual platform, any questions? Uh, no questions from the commissioners on the on the virtual platform. Let me start with uh, Commissioner Nyambi. Thank you, ACJ. Okay. Okay. Afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Daddy. If you can share with us uh, your understanding of uh, judicial accountability. Judicial accountability, I would suppose that the judiciary as an arm of the state that adjudicates matters on behalf of the entire uh, population of the country bears its <coughs> responsibility and accountability to the citizens of the country. And that to me would be would what I would call the sum total of judicial accountability. That in all decisions that um, judges make, the judiciary always has to be mindful of um, the public impact of the decisions that they make. That for me would be the sum total of judicial accountability. Thanks, Ms. Fenyane. I'm leading by example, SJ, one question. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Nojesi. Following to that question by Mr. Nyambi, yes. if there are 11 <laughs> applications for leave to appeal against your judgment, you don't know anything about them, how does that impact on that accountability? The information pertaining to when matters went to on appeal, that is to a higher court, is an administrative function that is performed outside of the judicial function itself. So that I would um, attribute to the flow of information either from the registrars to the judges uh, or the system that is being used and not to judicial accountability itself. 
judicial accountability from what I have, I have explained to Commissioner Nyambi would to me be the responsibility of the judicial officer to the public and, uh, and, 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 and taking into account the impact of the decision that has been made in discharging the duties of a judge. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Schlemmer. Thank you, ACJ. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, um, also, Commissioner. I just also have a question for you on the um, 11 applications for appeal. They seem to be quite a lot. Um, should we read something into that? The fact that so many of your judgments have been appealed against? Yes and no, Commissioner. To the extent that a party that is not successful um, is entitled to bring an application for leave to appeal, I would say no, because in any judgment, you're going to go either way. And one party may be satisfied and the other party not. But if both parties are satisfied, like with the rest of the other judgments, all the better. I would also add that if you take the sum total of the judgments that I have penned, which I have counted to about 50, I would say relatively 11 applications for leave to appeal, also minus the two that were overturned, three that were overturned on appeal, um, leaving a total of about eight is perhaps not too bad. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Commissioner Schlemmer, Minister. Uh, thank you and uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Minister. Yes, my relates to, I see that you have been a sole practitioner for a very long time. Wherever I go across the country, uh, female practitioners in particular, they decry the lack of support either as an attorney or as a junior advocate. How did you keep it for, for so long? Blood, sweat, and tears. Um, that's how I can, I can, I can sum it up. It's, it's, it's pushing through. Um, my strategy in maintaining my practice is not to have a lot of instructions at a go. So um, thanks to initiatives that are there that we can, as attorneys, tender for, for, for legal services, I've taken advantage of the tendering uh, process quite a lot. And if I can get one out of 10 applications that I have made, that's good enough for me um, to some extent, because then I sort of hold on to that yes, and I knock at doors, literally knock at doors and say, you have accepted me, I just wanted to have a word with you, this is who we are, and, 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 and generally that's how I have been able to, to, to sustain my practice. By, I, 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 I say you, only need to give me one instruction. And uh, naturally, I, I'm an overthinker, very melancholic in, 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 in personality. So I, I overthink this thing and I would sit with that instruction and, 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 and make sure and just try and close all gaps to the best um, that I can. And um, in so doing, I think I, you know, sort of zone you in as a client. And uh, um, it, it, it sort of then moves to the next. But it hasn't been easy. It's, 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 it's difficult. And I must say also, support from other colleagues um, who are in the same boat as me. We, we, we talk uh, uh, among each other and um, we, we, we share ideas. We even share instructions. If, if you don't have the capacity to do something, give it to somebody who can. Thank you. Thank you, Minister.
Thank you, Minister. Um, oh, what, was your hand up? Yes, please go ahead, uh, Commissioner Mdolo. Uh, thank you, ACJ, and good, after, good afternoon, Ms. Mutanyana. Good afternoon, Commissioner Mdolo Lepu. I'm, I'm actually so jealous that you've applied to the bank. Uh, please uh, speak up a bit. I'm saying I'm very jealous that you have applied to the bench, I must confess. You know, Ms. Mfeyana <laughs> really trains young women, I tell you. She's a member of Saula. She's always available. I just wanted to, to commend you for that. She's one of the most active members in South African Women Lawyers. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate that. Can I add? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it looks like uh, we have come to the end of uh, this interview. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Mfenyane, for availing yourself. Thank you very much. You are now excused. Thank you very much, uh, ACJ, and thank you very much, Commissioners. Thank you.